I'm Chief Meteorologist Mike Everett, and on Monday, we're going to experience a celestial event that occurs every now and then across North America, a solar eclipse. It's a stark reminder that we are a tiny part of a large and complex universe. In fact, let's start there with the anatomy, anatomy of a solar, solar eclipse, eclipse. Now, going back to fifth grade science, hopefully these three celestial bodies are familiar to you. There's the sun, there's the moon, there's the earth. Now, Obviously, an eclipse occurs when the moon gets between us and the light of the sun. But because this is an imperfect circle, it's elliptical, it's either a little bit closer, a little bit farther. You may remember last October, we had what was called an annular eclipse, where the moon obscured the sun, but not completely. You could still see the ring around the sun. That will not be the case this time around. In fact, a lucky group of people, including us here in Seattle or in Western Washington, will experience a penumbra or a partial shadow. I'll show you what that looks like in just a moment, but an extremely lucky group of people will get to be in the full shadow, what's also known as an umbra. If you think about that for a second, umbrella covers people from the sun, or the Spanish word for shadow is umbra. That's exactly where that Latin root comes from. So as far as the solar eclipse itself goes, it's going to be quite a ways away from us. The path of totality will run from Mexico all the way through the United States and up towards Canada. So this is all of North America, but as you can see we are way out on the periphery in the penumbra. So here's what to expect on Monday. It looks like right around 1130 it'll maximize for us and about 20% of it will be covered there. So it's not going to be a full eclipse, although the sky will probably obscure a little bit and it'll probably be pretty interesting to look at safely. We'll talk about that in a moment too. By 1220 this whole thing is done. Now if you can't see the sky, you can't see an eclipse. Forecast as it stands right now looks like skies to the south and and to the east are going to be your best bet. Now it'll be shifting a little bit between now and then, but it looks like we've got a pretty good chance of that. National Weather Service also agreeing. In fact, it looks like folks across much of Oregon, Utah, uh, Nevada, California, and then in portions of the path of totality, including Indianapolis, where we will have our NBC national coverage. Looks like that's going to be the best bet for seeing it without any obscurity. And then it continues off towards Canada, where folks up towards Nova Scotia had a pretty good chance of seeing it as well. Now we can't stress this enough. Never ever look directly at the sun, even if it is being partially obscured by the moon. Sunglasses do not provide adequate protection. Only look through an approved solar filter, or even safer, is to indirectly project the sun's image with a pinhole or binoculars. In fact, that's exactly what I did during the annular eclipse. That's a piece of tin foil. That's me without a hat or a comb. And this is what I was able to project onto a piece of paper. You could see the eclipse there, just in its portions as it was moving through the region. It was fascinating and it's super easy to do. Just remember, keep your back to the sun while you're doing it. Do not look up towards the sun through the little holes. You're projecting is almost as if you were making little shadow animals. Now, I got to experience a total eclipse back in Casper, Wyoming back in 2017. It was one of the most exciting and exhilarating days of my career. And I got to hang out with this guy. You may recognize him. This is Jay Gray. He's one of the correspondents for NBC National News. And I was working shoulder to shoulder with their team throughout the entire day. Great guy, and he's going to be part of our coverage on Monday on NBC. Imagine a sunset in 360 degrees. That's what happened during the moment of totality. I was standing on a hill in Casper, Wyoming, and everywhere I looked in 360 degrees, it looked like the sun had just set. The light of the sun was diffusing over top of the atmosphere and creating that light. Temperatures also dropped about 10 degrees in the spot where I was standing. It was marvelous. If you ever get the opportunity to experience a full solar eclipse in person, I highly recommend it.